the biggest diva on set? Omari? There are, I, you know, I don't know. I, I've never, I don't get that vibe about diva. I don't know. Diva. You know what diva is. Yeah, I know, know what a diva is. Locking yourself in the trailer. Yeah. And I, I don't have time for the rest it, of you guys. It, I'll say, I love her to death. I'll say it's probably Lala because she gets the most, from what I see, she gets, when I saw her, she would get like the most, like there'd be always somebody fussing with her. And it's not because she would lock herself in the trailer. It's because somebody would be fussing over her hair or someone would be rolling her. Her hands? He wears a ponytail. Nah, they, 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 the makeup people be on it. Cut, and then she's surrounded. So she's not really diva oh, yeah, in the terms of... little loose heads. Right. You know, they she's not diva cool. in terms of how she carries herself. She was she would be back there kicking with us and chilling. I'll share a little side note with you. She could she could rap, too. Yeah, know that. Like, yeah. yeah. Shout out to Lala, but she... Listen, she, she can... Put, she can... What? She put down... <laughs> you know, she gives, she gives the city girls a run for their money. That's all I'm trying to tell you. You know, she put it out there. I was like, Lala, I didn't even know. She spelled like, that's you? She's like, yeah. I was like, wow. Um, but Diva, in terms of how they primped and they would be on her, rolling her uh, clothes. But other than that, she was cool. Mad cool. Okay. I can't. I can't say I ran into any divas. There were no. Everybody was there to work. Everybody was there to, you know, put 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 forth the best product we 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 could. Mm-hmm. So nobody was really in the feelings like that. I don't know. Who would you say you can borrow? I'm talking about industry wise. You can borrow a couple of hundred dollars from. Not fifty. And- I ain't about to. You are not about to have me on nothing by on my Monday. Nothing. I ain't about to be sweating for the whole Let, weekend. Let's start off with this. Who is your closest <laughs> industry friend? Let's get off power for a half, half a second. Mm. Who is your closest industry friend? Um, he said not fifty. Yeah, I ain't borrowing money from that brother. You, oof, you see what he's doing to people, <laughs> ending careers and bank accounts. Um. Yeah, I'd I'd say industry wise, it's, it's got to be the guy who plays Spanky. It's not we. I mean, we got to know each other so well between season five and so we kept in touch. I would call him. See, yo, even now, I call him. See, yo, what's, what's good, man? You all right? How you doing? You he know. came to your house. You went to his. Well, he lives. He actually lives out here in Jersey, in Newark. Okay. So I have not been out there yet. But we've um we've bonded a lot. We talk about a lot of like you know insecurities as actors. Like you know what's next? What are we gonna right, do? Right. When he found out that I was getting clipped the season, you know, he's like, "Hey man, you're gonna be all right. You're a great actor, and this and that." And oh, he's positive. Yeah, he's mm-hmm. positive. He's 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 a very positive affirmations guy. But we we talk a lot outside of power. He's always giving me good advice because he's been acting for a while. Okay, you know, so so he knows um, what he's talking about. But I, I trust him, and uh, I I definitely appreciate him. So okay. he's, he's definitely dope, dope man, dope guy to know. If you ever get to work with him at some point, you know, you you'll see him talking about out here. <laughs> Yeah, because it's not a lot of people that's out here positive mm-hmm. and trying to uh, inspire you and push you mm-hmm. and, and, you know, uh, we behi- want you to be great. And We got close because behind the scenes, a lot of the stuff you see that we do, a lot of it is improv. It, 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 you'd see it, and you know, it's, it's written a certain way, right, right. but the way we delivered it. Mm-hmm. All freestyling. Improv. Yeah, because we would sit there, we would chop up the scene before. We shot it and we was like, yo, man, we could do it like this. Right, right, like this right. To- and they okay with that? Like they yeah, didn't care. Yeah, Courtney, oh. Courtney uh-huh. was an advocate for like, yo, it, whatever you could do to to make the character better, better mm-hmm. the product better, do it. You pitched up like a lot of the jokes you heard Black Grimace say were jokes that I had pitched at the table reads. Okay. Or sometimes uh, there on set. So a uh, perfect example would be, do you remember the episode? I don't know if it was what episode number it was, but it was one Black Grimace was like, you only got one kidney. I right, do. that was a line that I came up with on the spot because the the line was not supposed to go. It was just supposed to be two bit and black women's going back and forth. And they, they made the joke about how much weight I lost. And then I was like, like y'all, y'all niggas know I got one kitty, man. Mm-hmm. Fuck y'all niggas. And mm-hmm. it, they were like, I, the the whole crew laughed like hard. Like in it, it's it doesn't happen like that when you're doing a dry run of the episode. Like you you do practice a scene in front of mm-hmm. the crew. Mm-hmm. There, you, there's no studio audience, so when they all laughed, I was like, okay. That was funny. Right, it worked. Mm-hmm. And they laughed for a couple moments, and then we finished the scene. So they, they let me keep, they let me do it. Okay. That was so dope. So we know that power's not mm. coming on tonight. Mm-mm. Nope. Um, how many more we got left? For So for this year, you got last list. So you got two more. Because huh. last week was seven, right? Was it seven? I, I think thought it was, it was eight. Uh, I don't know. Seven? I, seven. It was eight? All right, yeah. So okay. you got eight, nine, and ten. So maybe three more. All right. Okay, so since we... <laughs> Will not be able to watch tonight. All right, I already know. I told Why you. Why are you smiling? You I already know. Look, I told you. I'm saying you can ask me anything, but can you, you give about us to mess up this maybe check. a about, little hint? <laughs> you have to mess up this check. Well, what? <laughs> You're dead. There's no more check for you there. <laughs> 
<laughs> Can yeah. you give us a little hint as to what what's to come? Just a little hint. The whole power universe is going to be turned on its head in these next coming episodes. Uh, you're going to see the fallout from the death of BG. Dre, uh, yeah, I see you're going to see the fallout from, um, you know, Dre talking to the feds. You're going that's, to see every, the, that's every week. You, well, it's, <laughs> you, it's some to come. You're going to, uh, put it to you like this. Are we going to be satisfied with the ending? It's Are like, we got, it's like I told, no. it's like I told We're never gonna my be boy satisfied. Rob, <laughs> sometimes the best negotiation, the best settlements are the ones where you're not happy and the other person isn't happy. And I feel like this is one of those situations where like, you know what? It's an ending that is going to surprise you. I feel. Is it? I think so. Let me tell you something, Kev. Some may be happy, some may be mad. Real quick. This better not end mm-hmm. with Tommy and Ghost shooting each other at the same time. Both of them fall out dead and I break my TV. It, yeah, I'm telling know. you right now, I'm I coming. I don't know if it ends like that. I just think it ends how it's supposed to. It's. It, You're telling me so much. I know, without telling you anything. <laughs> All right, listen. We already know that Tyreek is not going to die because he's going to be in Power Book 2. How do we know that? We know that. We do? We do. All right, I don't know. Let me see that episode. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't seen that episode yet, but all right, if you say so, I don't okay, know. Okay, well, yeah. can you tell us about Power Book 2? Can you tell us of any? I, I don't know anything. I know Mary J. Blige is going to be okay. a part of it. Okay. Um, do you know when it's coming? Uh, f- the 48 hours after. Oh, wow, that soon? Mm-hmm. After he's said 48 hours, the first episode will be 48 hours after the last episode of Power. I, 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 you know, I know I'm, I'm, I'm telling, I, I think there are fans who will be upset at the, the way the show's going to end. Oh, I, I, I'm pretty sure we will. But mm-hmm. you got to understand, it's, it's, they don't write the show for the fans. They write the story as the story is told. The story, this is how the story is. This is a story and we write it from our artistic storytelling perspective. And a lot of people are like, why can't you just do this? I kill Tyreek. And all right, kill him. Then what? Then what happens next episode? Well, just kill Dre. All right, then what? That's no, not Dre story. Dre has to die. I understand. But it, it's storytelling. There's a story to be told. There's an arc. There's a, there's a trajectory. There's a path. What, you know what I'm saying? Uh, what could you do to allow me to get in on, on some of these, uh, these writing sessions because, you know, like, I, I don't like where certain things is going sometimes. You know what I'm saying? Like, maybe sometimes you got to just have a, a regular chick from the nah. hood just come in and sit in and be like, yo, that's mad corny. You can't do you, that. You, you know, Courtney's a regular chick from the hood, too. She's educated, but she, she but uh, she, I think she went to August Martin. So she's from around here. I found out she went to August Martin. Just said, well, she went to August Martin? I said, I didn't know that. It's crazy. Um, but, yo, know, it, it's, they write the stories some things happen. They know they're going to make fans upset, but you have to tell it has to be done in a certain way, you know? All right. So basically what you're saying is I'm going to be mad. All right. I'll you, might you. Mad, <laughs> you, you might be mad. You might be happy. I don't know, man. I don't know you how it's, happy. I don't know how it's going to go. You know, it's, it's looking crazy right now. The way things are going, shooting at each other. It's like mm-hmm. shot at my penthouse. Mm-hmm. Oh, that was a crazy scene, wasn't it? That was ridiculous. I was not <laughs> expecting that. I thought he was going to go in there with a silence. This man went in there with this big old... Blah, 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 blah. I was like, damn. But and then, him and Ghost is having just conversations afterwards. Like, yo, so you, let me tell y'all what you're going to... Nigga just shot up your whole... Well, no, nah, it's... But look, Jason told him, listen, if you touch him and he is a dead, I'm going to kill you. And Ghost, if you touch him, he is dead, I'm killing you. So they they, they, they have to be cool. They have, they to, have be. to be. They have no choice. Let's just kill Jason. You just kill Jason. I think that's the way they're moving. I think I saw that. <laughs> I think, huh? You think? I think I saw that. We don't know what's going to happen. I don't know who else is getting. People are like, who else is getting spin off? I'm like, I have no idea. They don't, like, you only, I don't know about the episodes that I'm on. You know what I'm saying? Stuff that I've done. So you're saying I know more than you about power? You probably do. <laughs> <laughs> because when I ain't on episode, I don't know, you know? So, like. You also got your acting on on uh, VH1 The Breaks. Is that correct, oh, sir? Oh, my goodness. You did your research. Oh my a, little, a little VH1 The Breaks, right? I did do the breaks. Yeah, that's actually, uh, I met Method. Who'd you play on there? All right, so the character's name was Heavy. This is when I was like 288. (laughs) That's when you were heavy? Oh, yeah. It's just like, what are we going to call him? I don't know. He looks heavy. Just heavy. That's it. There you go. Just call him that. Call him what he looks like. (laughs) Yeah, but I was heavy. I was just basically bodyguard for the label. I did a couple episodes Mm -hmm. on that one. I only saw a couple of labels, I mean, a couple of uh, episodes of that. I couldn't really get into it. But, um,. I do remember that DJ Premier did the entire yeah, he uh, did. score. He did. That was 
awesome. Yo. Got to meet him too for a hot second. I was bugging. Gangsta said, fan? Gangsta fan? I'm huge. Are you kidding me? Step into the arena? Oh, come on, man. No, you ain't, ain't going to... You ain't gonna do this to me, man. But I, I just remember, I'm, I'm starting to feel it now. The way I felt when I met DJ Premier, because it's like you look at these people, like yo, I listen to you, like my I heroes, know, man. I know, that's, that's dope. like he was mad cool too. Was like, was like, man. I know, I thought he was from a page from nice Texas. Guy. It's crazy, nice guy. real nice. So the new Gangstar album is dropping at uh, midnight, November first. Um, do you know about that, sir? I did know about that. And I'm waiting on it because that single, uh, that single is family and loyalty. Fire, yes, fire. Yes, J yes, Cole. It is. Um, Will you be online with me at uh, 11.59 on Halloween waiting to... Uh, you mean online like on your, your computer or online like at Sam Goody online? Online on my computer to download. I will be there. The <laughs> I can't do the outside waiting thing no more. We're getting Christmas that. early. That was nice, Supreme. Yeah, I, I think so. I just, you know what I hate? I hate how all that went down Like when he died. I just like, God, come on. I know. It's it's just, it was so messy. And I'm just like... It was sad. I, I, you know, but the I, good thing is is that we are able to still enjoy. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. Yo, like, for him to have saved those vocals, those lyrics yeah, or whatever, yeah. and to turn it into. He did, he did it right. He, he honored them properly because that yes. song sounds like a gang star song. Yes. It's not like he put some crazy auto tunes on it. It's, it's, it's guru. 